Hello guys! Today I will share with you some of the best launch options in CSGO. Some of these commands are meant to improve your FPS, but if you already have a beefy PC and run the game at over 300 FPS, then I cannot guarantee FPS improvements. But if you have a mid to lower end PC, then these commands will help you out a lot. Now I will show you how to change launch options. All you need to do is open up Steam, go to your library, and right click on Counter Strike Global Offensive. Click on Properties and then click on Set Launch Options. First, I will show you the launch options to improve your FPS. FPS Max 0. This command will run the game with the highest FPS possible. You can set the number to 150 for example, then the game will cap the FPS to 150. If you want to see how many FPS your game is running at, then use the command CL Show FPS 1. This will show the FPS at the top left of your screen. CL Interp 0. This command will give you the lowest interpolation time, which reduces lag. As of the last update, the interpolation for matchmaking will be the same as a server. This command is still very useful for other servers, such as private lobbies. CL Interp Ratio 1. This command changes the interpolation ratio. Set it to 1 for best results. Rate 128,000. This is the highest number you can set it to. In short, rate is the maximum bandwidth you allow for CSGO. If it's too low, some of the informations regarding shots and movements won't be sent. CL Update Rate 128, which is the highest update rate possible and will reduce lag. CL Force Preload 1. This will preload the maps before entering, including sounds and artwork. This can improve your FPS a lot. Refresh, Refresh Rate and FREQ, which stands for Frequency, will force your monitor to run a specific refresh rate. This launch option only makes sense if your monitor maximum refresh rate is higher than 60. No Joy. This launch option will disable the joystick support, which can improve the FPS. NOD 3 D9EX. This launch option disables the indirect X extension. This will make alt tabbing faster and improves FPS. High. This launch option will start the game in high priority. This is always useful, especially if you have other programs running in the background. Threads. If you know how many cores your CPU has, then enter the amount and the game should run faster. For example, threads 4 if your CPU has 4 threads. If you have a dual core CPU, then don't use this launch option, as it may cause harm to the CPU. N Void. This launch option will remove the Valve intro when you start the game. Console. This will open up the developer console every time you start the game. This is useful for people who put echoes in their autoexec files, to know that the autoexec was properly executed. If you don't use autoexec files, then just bind the command to open up the console to a key. Full or full screen forces the game to run in full screen mode. You can also set it to windowed, window or start windowed. And these last two launch options will not change your FPS, but are a fun way to change your game a little bit. LV, which stands for low violence, is a launch option that removes blood and corpse animations. Language Pirate. This will change it from English to English with pirate slang. I advise you not to use every launch option possible, in hope of fixing your FPS. Just try out a few and you will see what works best for you. This was my list of the most useful launch options. If you have any questions then feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.